Hi, this is Kevin Westerling, Chief Editor of Water Online. I'm reporting live from WebTech 2019. I'm here with Manuel Diaz. He's the Business Development Manager at Kaiser Compressors. How are you doing, Manuel? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Excellent. Thanks Great. for uh, joining us here. Yeah. So uh, we're standing in front of a, a turbo blower that I believe is new for the company. Um, so tell us a little bit about uh, turbo blowers overall and, and why they might be the right type of blower for a utility. Okay, what we have here is a Mac bearing machine. It's a turbo blower. We have two designs, 200 horsepower, 400 horsepower. And what makes the machine unique is that we not only have a Mac bearing there, but we also have the Mac bearing, the motor and the VFD water cool. It means that the main components which are operating, which are stressed, they maintained operating at the best conditions and they are absolutely free of getting dust by external cooling, by air or something similar. Okay, Manuel, why don't we uh, take a look inside and see what this system has to sure. offer. So, we have the machine split in two sections. Mm -hmm. On this side, we have the electrical cabinet with all integrated what we need to run the machine on the field. There is a VFD inside. There is a Mac bearing controller, PLC. We have the touch screen. We have a lot of sensor systems that's helpful so we know where the machine is operating, we know the flow, we know ambient conditions, we know the discharge pressure, we know the cooling circuit, how it's working, and even the machine is communicative. It tells you how it's working. If there are some possible problems, then it's displayed really in written words, and it's also communicating by the uh, gateway connection that we can have then to the uh, SCADA system of the plant. Oh, wow, that's very useful. Yeah, yep. it is. So we're now on the other side of the unit. Um, do you want to take a look inside here, Manuel? Sure. See what's going on? So here we have the mechanical part. We have our motor, our magnetic bearing motor. We have on the top the casing with the impeller, air inlet, or from the top or from the back side. We're going through the silencer, which is just behind here, going through the filter, aspirating it into the compressor stage and blowing it off. Cooling circuit is pretty simple. It's like in a car. Please don't use the old Beetle. It's the newer okay. one. We have a water glycol mix circuit operating here. We have a radiator. We have the pump. The pump is pumping the water beside the magnets, beside the motor, extracting the water. And here on the back side, we have also the connection to the VFD. So also the VFD is water cooled. And this is all circulating continuously. If the customer wants to, he can use the radiator, but we have also a tube and tube heat exchanger inside so that we can ex take external water and cool this system completely by the external water and uh, have the benefit that our compressor room maintains cool. Oh, great. Well, thanks for the inside look. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm here now with Al Moreno. He's a district manager at Kaiser. How are you doing, Al? I'm good, thank you. Good to Thanks see you. Thanks for joining us. You too. Thanks for having us. Uh, and we're standing in front of a screw blower, right? Um, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, happy to. Um, this is our new uh, DBS series that we've had out for a little while now. Um, it's got a high efficiency air end and a uh, switch reluctance motor uh, to maximize on efficiency. There's a lot of little things that we do in this unit to make it super quiet, super reliable, and uh, of course, very uh, energy efficient. So you mentioned energy efficiency. Um, can you describe just how much we're talking about and how, how that's driven? Yeah, sure. So when we compare a rotary screw blower to a conventional tri-low blower, we can use, because we have internal compression capability, we can usually see about 30% gain in, in energy efficiency. Okay. So it's the combination of the air end uh, and the motor that helps us get to those efficiencies. Great, thank you. So are there any uh, other important features you want to mention? Yes, for sure. There's a, a lot of little things that we do in this unit to uh, make sure it's reliable. Mm -hmm. Heat is a blower's biggest enemy. So in the design of the air end, we took a lot of consideration into how the blower itself is going to dissipate that heat. And you'll notice that there's a lot of fins on here to help dissipate the heat in the air end. Right. And this being the gear side where the oil is, that's where we generate a lot of the heat. And if you notice that the gear box is a little bit detached from the main air end, and that's primarily to dissipate that heat, but also to ensure that we're not re-ingesting warm air, which um, loses helps uh, loses efficiency o over time. You've got a lot of sensors on the unit itself that are made to protect the blower. 
So we're monitoring things like the oil temperature, the oil level, differential pressure. We're monitoring the windings on the motor. Anything that could kill a blower, we'll basically monitor it, just to make sure that uh, it's the blower's healthy and uh, reliable. And how is that information delivered to the operator? Great question. So all of these units come with a what we call our Sigma Control 2. Mm -hmm. It is a PC-based controller. All the sensors in the unit, again, that are protecting the unit or monitoring what's going on are all wired back to an input-output module. And then they go through the cabinet and they land here on the uh, Sigma Control 2, which is monitoring all these things. Uh, it's also IP addressable, so the customer can now uh, connect to the controller, see exactly what's going on from a laptop, from his office. We can also communicate with the SCADA system if, uh, there's a, if there's a particular PLC that the customer is running. We can communicate with a variety of different platforms to extract that data and see exactly what's going on with the system. Okay, Al, so you mentioned the uh, Sigma Control 2, yes, and uh, right. now we're in front of the Sigma Air Manager. Uh, do they integrate in any way at all? Yes, they do. They do. So the blowers themselves all have a Sigma Control 2. Those have communications capability. With the SAM, the Sigma Air Manager, what we're doing is we're integrating multiple machines on one platform, primarily to optimize energy efficiency. So the SAM can take over as a master controller and run multiple machines. It could be a combination of fixed speed machines and variable speed, where we would fully load a base machine, a fixed speed machine, and then trim with a variable speed to optimize the energy efficiency. Um, there's also some great features in the SAM, and it's got communications capability to the outside world. So if, as I mentioned earlier, if there's a SCADA system or a plant um, supervisory control system that we need to communicate with, we can. It's got the uh, alarming page, so all alarms and all the critical information is logged on here. And it is also, at the same time, trying to balance out the hours on all the units. So to make sure that all the units get as equal to hours as we possibly can. Right, so more energy efficiency. Energy efficiency. It's all about specific performance in our industry. That's how many kW the system will draw in order to produce 100 CFM of air. And the system is focused on having that number be as low as it possibly can. That, again, that's specific performance, and that's its primary focus. Great. Well, thanks again, Al. Appreciate sure. it. Sure. So I'm here now with Peter Verhan. He's the global product manager for blowers at Kaiser. How are you doing, Peter? Fine. You okay? <laughs> I'm excellent. Thank you. So uh, I can't think of anyone better to talk about why Kaiser got this blower and what it offers. So uh, I, I understand it's relatively new, right? Yeah, well, I have to go step back uh, okay. to explain it. Uh, well, at Kaiser, uh, we decided already some time ago uh, to enlarge our flow rate in the low pressure range. Um, with the displacement machine, we already reached the limit with the uh, new HPS machine screw blower technology, uh, but we wanted to go even further. Uh, mm -hmm. And it was clear that this only can be done in a reasonable way with a turbo blower. And so we decided uh, to have our own turbo blower range. Um, well, and then we um, found that the only reasonable technology uh, is Mac bearing. And we also noticed um, that the liquid cooled technology uh, is the one to go. And uh, so we, we wanted to create our own range uh, of turbo blowers, uh, efficient, maintenance free, compact, small footprint. Mm -hmm. So, and then um, suddenly the opportunity came up. Um, to get the uh, pillar rater products and those products are exactly meeting what we uh, already decided to go for so it was just perfect well it certainly does seem like it's a perfect fit for you guys Con congratulations and best of luck thank you for the overview thank you very much